do it. Hey guys, this is Versatile from Project Phoenix Media. So we got a really cool PS2 tutorial today. Basically, we're gonna showcase Grim Doomer's OPL build. And if you don't know about it, basically, it's the version of OPL that he has modified, where if you have a fat PS2, you got free make boot, you have a, a way to launch, you know, elf files, basically. You can basically drag and drop game files, like ISO files, onto a, let's say, SSD or two terabyte or larger hard drives, extra capacity hard drives, with your SATA network adapter, drag and drop them onto the hard drive, no need to use WinHAP or any other third-party programs, and using his build of OPL, it'll actually detect the games, and you can run them, and it works pretty cool, with the, at least the games I've tested so far. So let me show you the process, what it looks like in a nutshell. Basically, of course, you want to get his build, so if you go to the GitHub, I have a link in the video description, you can download the latest version, so here's uh, some instructions and stuff that he has about some, you know, changes he has from one build to the next. But anyways, you'll go here, download opl.zip, go ahead, download, extract it. In my case, I already did that, so I already put that onto my USB thumb drive. So if you go to your thumb drive, for example, and you go to wherever you want to store it. So here I have a folder called opl underscore grimdoomer to make things easy and organized. I basically copied and extracted that file from his zip into this particular folder on my thumb drive. And we're gonna use that later on the PS2. And the second item is, uh, of course you need some game images and I sort of took a head step. So here I have a folder with PS2 images. I have a DVD folder that has like three example games today. And to help save some time, if you're curious about doing like cover art, what you could do, for example, is use like OPL Manager. So here, let me just extract to his own folder. Totally optional. But if you wanna use OPL Manager, you can use that to organize your games, rename your games properly scrape the cover art, all that good stuff. So here, um, I'm gonna tell it to go to my browser path. So I go to my desktop and I have a folder called PS2 images, say okay. And then if you had any games that were incorrectly named, it'll tell you so you could fix them, right? Or you can go to batch actions, art download, download all the art that you want for your game files, right? Okay, so once you're done with that, um, you're good to go. So that's purely optional, you don't have to do that. It's just a quick uh, segue for those who are interested in how to get the art for your game files. And then the next big thing here is we want to have a hard drive that's formatted properly, right? So right now I have a um, SSD that's connected through a Sabrent adapter to my computer. And one of the things you can do is go to control panel. So let's go to control panel. And then you can go to what I like to do. I like to do like icons here and go to Windows tools and then go to computer management and then go to disk management. So you have a brand new hard drive. Make sure when you initialize it, do not select, I think it's called GPT. You don't want like the MBR. You definitely don't want that, right? So you're gonna have something like this here. I'm gonna right click, go to new simple volume. Uh, I'm gonna use the maximum here. Sign, you go to sign that drive letter. So I have a default E here and um, changed to XFAT for the file system. Allocation size is default, volume label. It's going to be whatever you want to call it. So I'll just call it new volume for now. Click on next, finish. Let us do this thing. And then depending on how big your hard drive is, this might take a while, but here we are. So we're good to go, right? So now what I'm going to do is since I really did a lot of the heavy lifting earlier is I'm going to go into my PS2 images that's on my desktop and just copy and paste all this stuff here onto my hard drive. And once it's done, then I can eject the hard drive from the computer, plug into the PS2, turn on the PS2, use Freemic Boot to launch the OPL version of Grim Doomer's build, and then it should automatically, assuming you got this OPL setting set up correctly, detect your settings and you can see your games and play your games and just have a lot of good times, right? So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna showcase that in the next portion of this video tutorial, and you'll see exactly how that works. So with that said, let's do this. Okay, so in this next portion of the video, we're gonna showcase my PS2 setup with the OPL build of Grim Doomer, and it works perfectly. So here's my, I showcased this in the previous video, I'm using like a, the Sony network adapter, but I have it modified to accept SATA hard drives, basically I'm using an SSD for today's example, but you can definitely use a larger hard drive. If you have like a two terabyte or maybe larger. I know that in some other videos I've watched online that some people had issues using um, when formatting the hard drives. So in this particular case, I've used two different adapters. I've used this Sabrent 3.0 adapter 
this works fine. Had not had zero issues with it. And I also tested this separate adapter that I have. It's like a hard, hard drive dock that I have from Nexstar TX. It's from Vantech. Um, this has worked out pretty well too, no issues. So if you're curious, you can use those products or you can always connect the hard drive to your computer through a SATA port and do the formatting that way. So let's go ahead and connect my hard drive to my PS2 real quick. So I just have like a fat model. I think this is like 339K series, the fat model. But anyways, you connect it. Okay, so we're good to go. And then I have my version of Free McBoot to load the OPL software. Or you can also plug in your USB thumb drive here so you can copy the files off the thumb drive and store it on your uh, memory card. Whatever you want to do, of course, right? Just a lot of different ways of skinning cat, so to speak. All right. So let's do this. So let me show you what I did to get it set up. If you're a more advanced user, if you already know how to copy files to the memory card ahead of time, then you can go ahead Use the Freeman Boot Configurator and create like a shortcut like I did here, OPL, Grim Doomer, you can call it whatever you want, right? Or you can go the old school method, you can go to Ulaunch Elf, for example. And then from Ulaunch Elf, you can navigate to your mass drive, which is like my USB thumb drive that's plugged in, for example. And then you can go ahead to wherever you stored the OPL file and run it manually that way. Or if you want to save some hassle in the future, perhaps you can copy it to your memory card. So in my case, it's MC0. And I happen to have a folder called OPL Grim Doomer. And then here I can run the alpha file right now. And I'll show you what my settings look like. But so far my limited testing, the games I've tested work pretty, pretty great, actually. Uh, no lag, no issues. I'm sure there's all games out there that may lag. So I guess the best advice I can give you guys is test your favorite game and see if it works or not. So what's cool about this particular build of OPL is it recognizes more than one method. So like if you have USB plugged in, and also your hard drive, you'll recognize both of them. Or let's say you have Ethernet, or you have the MX4SIO card, for example, or rec it'll recognize that as well. So anyways, you'll see that I have the cover art, and it automatically detected what devices I have. So if you're curious on how to set that up, you can go to settings, and down to BDM start mode, have that set to auto, hard drive set to auto, anything else that you want, go ahead and set it to auto, make sure you say okay down at the bottom. And then display, if you're curious about the cover art, you can you know turn it on and then go ahead, go down to okay. Oops, let me change that widescreen back to on, for example, and then go to save changes, right? If you're curious on how to get the cover art, what I did was basically, let me just test a game real quick here. Um, what I did was use the OPL program. So the simplest method, it would be like have the games on your desktop in the folder, use OPL manager, rename the game file, scrape the cover art. So then when you do connect your hard drive to your computer, whatever method works best for you, and it is formatted as XFAT correctly, then just do a big copy paste dump from the computer to your hard drive and you're good to go, right? So I think that's the simplest method. Of course, um, OPL Manager does not recognize the PS2 hard drive when it's formatted as XFAT. So you're gonna have to do it you know, through Windows Explorer or whatever method you wanna do basically. But overall, I am very pleased with the results. You don't have to mess with any third-party programs, which is pretty cool. All right, let's do this. Anyways, we can clearly see that the game works fine using the OPL version of uh, Gr Grim Doomer's build. If you guys have any difficult questions, leave a comment here on each page and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.